you know, the skill points. Never know when you're gonna need one of those. Anyway, uh, there was another mission that we have to do, which is is back in Raven's Knock, and I guess we have to do an investigation mission because if I remember correctly, that mission had a green laptop. And for those of you that do not know how the mission mission process works. If there is a red icon that shows a guy running, that's just you running and doing the mission, you know, just you might attack somebody, it's like go go attack random people. And once you do, you complete your mission. It was like it's like that. While the green laptop is investigation, you actually have to think, not to mention you also have to use the browser, which is yeah, you have to use a web browser. So in a way, the game makes you purposely makes missions in order for you to cheat like they force you to cheat which is very interesting and I actually want a lot more games to do this because I feel like investigations or at least this is just me personally investigations are more fun for me which is also ironic given the fact that I don't like doing um, I don't like doing um, what you call it forgot shit you know what never mind the vision Madame Roger has a vision of your future follow the vision It was always about deception. The crystal ball, the gypsy clothes, the fake accent. Cheap props to make the fortune cookies easier to swallow. My customers, they bought into it because they wanted to. If there's no free will, if it's all about fate, life is a whole lot simpler. We can just say, hey, it was meant to be, and get on with it. That's the key to fortune telling. That's why people fall for it. We're all prisoners of our search for a higher meaning. It's all about mutual deception. I never believed I was telling people anything they didn't already know. Until now. I have waking dreams, visions. I see auras, auras. <laughs> Yours, by the way, is bright enough to blind me. I see through the eyes of others. I can even see into the future for real. The paths of fate, clear as day. It's almost like, like I've become who I've pretended to be all these years. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. I could be going crazy. I wouldn't blame myself if I was going, oh, great. Here we go again. I'm having another vision. They come and go like headaches. I can't really control them. Quick, before it passes. I see your twin paths. One leads to salvation, the other to defeat. I see black tendrils rising to embrace you. Voices whispering in your ear. Corruption from within and from without. Something rising from the bottomless deep to devour us all. To turn day into night. Sorry. I see something else. Our paths intertwine, converge, and at the end of it, exodus. Inescapable, permanent, faded. On the tip of the pyramid, your path shall be revealed. That's as good as it's gonna get. Make of it what you will. Sometimes I get more visions, like the aftershocks of an earthquake. If that happens, I'll let you know. You won't even have to pay my usual fee. Let's call it a freebie, sweetie. I had to pay you? Get the fuck out of here. I pay you for shit. Okay. Um, has that thing always been there? Or am I just going a little bit insane? But never mind. Um, let me see. Also, what you're required to do, and in case you guys get lost in, you know, green laptop missions or investigation missions, what you have to do is to make sure you're following the path you have to click this constantly you have to know what the description says over here for example the first tier or the first part of the mission says the clue from madame Rogers's but madam something's vision said on the top of the pyramid your path shall be revealed you basically have to find a location that represents the top of a pyramid um top of a pyramid fuck Let, let's check the um Let's check the, uh, what the hell was that shit called? 
Um, phone book. There we go. Let's check the phone book. See if we can find something around here. Should be over there. Yep, right here. Okay. Let me see. Arts and crafts. Lobster trap. Book of King of Books. Clean cut barbershop. Hardware store. No. No. Fire department. No. 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 Well, that didn't help. Is there like a world map around here? Oh, wait. I see it. Yep. Okay. How do I. Oh, there we go. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Said the top of the pyramid. Top of the pyramid. Fuck. I'm sorry if this is boring to you guys. I'm gonna try to make it as fun as possible. Um, top of the damn pyramid. What the fuck is it? Wait, wait. What is that that I see? Pyramids point. Oh, found something. I'm gonna add a marker. I'm gonna just call it. Go here. Yep. Okay, how do I exit out of this? Oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. Alright, two pyramids point, which is... I have to check the map again. Wow. Which is down here, and then I gotta take a left. Do I? Oh, no, I don't. I have to take a right. Alright, take a right. And then keep going. Alright, that, that seems simple enough. I am running, right? Let me see. Yep, I'm running. But anyway, you're gonna come across a lot of green mi green laptop missions that might be a little bit tedious, and is gonna require you to think a lot. For example, I was doing a mission with or involving the Illuminati, and it involved learning their history and learning histories of other shit that you probably don't even care about. So, if you don't know any of those guys, you probably won't, or at least, yeah, if you don't know any of those guys, you probably won't do this mission without using a laptop, or without using the web browser. You're gonna need the web browser. And what is this? Screwy hand. Ah, oh, fuck. They just love following me, don't they? Okay, screwy hand. Um, a decaying man... Human hand lies in a box near a Mr. Freezy van. Huh, Mr. Freezy van. I gotta pick up, pick up the hand. Apparently, examine it. Eric and Mindy found by love, 1874, and that requires me to go all the way there. Should I? Yeah, let's get this mission over with, and then I'll come back. But anyway, I was doing the mission with the Illuminati. It required you to learn a lot of history. But I made a lot of history. To the point where if you don't know history, you won't complete this mission. Not even kidding. But, oh well. Or, you know what you can do? And let's be honest, I'm pretty sure somebody has done this in this game. You can use the web browser and just search up the mission. And just search up how to complete it. And you're pretty much good. You know, it doesn't require you to think. You can just cheat yourself out of there. But the way how I prefer it is, you know, actually me trying to think and elaborate how can I solve this um, mission without using cheats. And so far, I've done rather successfully. Because that Illuminati mission, I just I didn't use the browser at all. I actually thought through my um, through some of the classes that I took in school. Which, even though I learned something from school, school doesn't make me actually like school in general, so... Alright, so I gotta go to the graveyard. I gotta look for a graveyard then. Search for... Mindy... Sarah Mindy, Sarah Mindy. Is it this one? It is Dolores Creed, a faithful friend and a tender mother. Nope. There's another side mission here. What is this? John Lamore, maybe may he be remembered as he remembered others. What if he doesn't remember everybody? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> anyway, um, Tom Dexter, 
Dearly missed by Shirley and Edgar. And Ray McGee, shop owner, answered the final call of the wild. Yeah. Well, may you rest in peace, everybody. <laughs> um, let's see. Eddie Stone. Illness took you from this earth, but never from our hearts. That's that's cute. I like that. I like that. I probably would want somebody to. God damn it. I probably would want somebody to put that on my tombstone. That's nice. I like that. Anyway, um, headstone. What is this? Samantha Henderson, beloved daughter. How beautiful life was to her. Okay. I still have yet to find the fucking tombstone. Okay, what's this? Finally, Eric and Mindy, bounded by death, return the hand to its grave. Oh, damn it. This thing won't start attacking me now, would it? Like a zombie won't start attacking me? Because if it does, then shit. Okay. Examine the hat. Why would I want to examine the hat? Eric and Mindy's grave has most certainly been disturbed recently. The only clue is the sighting of a hat next to his grave. Okay, so I can see why you want me to touch the cap. This hat looks new, and it's sporting a Mr. Freezy logo. Also, whoever killed him was obviously a worker from Mr. Freezy, which explains why we found the hand from the Mr. Freezy's truck. Okay. Now, let's continue. I'm not going to do that side mission that was next to, um, that was in the graveyard, because I'm doing this one. And I just want to get the whole investigation mission out of the way. I really don't want to, like, waste an hour or two on it. So, hope that's okay with you guys. And let's be honest, investigations isn't really that interesting. The only thing, the only thing interesting I'll admit is the, if you find hidden places, like, if you... There's this one where I found an underground, um, I'm not sure if it was a bunker, but an underground bunker of the Illuminati, and exploring that was freaking awesome. And the boss fight there was, t was, um, awesome too. But getting there was boring as fuck. It was boring as hell. But, oh well, um, let me move my mic a little bit. Because I, I feel like I'm sounding a little bit too loud here. Like I have it right close to my mouth or something. If I do, or if I had the had it close to my mouth, then I'm sorry. I can just edit that and make my voice sound a little bit lower. Um, there's the third location that I can go to find missions. But I'm not, not going to go there yet because... What is that? Box of boots. God damn it. 